there's still a mathematical chance of us playing quarterfinals. So um, everything's on the line. We need to get five points. So um, you know we're just preparing um, as if as if that's the case. We need to win by uh, with a bonus point. But then again, it's a test match. You know nothing really changes in the way you prep. Um, you know we've got a good game plan. Um, coaches have been unreal. Um, we train. Had a great session today. Another one tomorrow, and then and then we'll get ready for the game. But like Kel's touched on earlier, it's a test match. Um, it's pretty easy to get up for your country, um, especially you know in these in these tough moments when you know we haven't been performing the way we want to. Um, everyone's been gutted, fans included. So it just gives us more you know incentive to to you know get up for this game and play well. But um, like I said, we, we just prep well and come out and um, yeah do the jersey proud this week. Yeah, I suppose the. The answer to that that question previously is the best way to turn it around. We've got another game, like, and it probably sounds like a cliche and sounds a bit stupid, but it might be my last game. You never know. So, um, for me, that was a big, big sort of um, switch in terms of flicking back into into game mode. But in terms of dealing with the loss, um, how did I deal with it? Probably not that well. Uh, like gutted, right? Like it's it's um, the pinnacle of our game and. Uh, we weren't able to perform and, and we let a lot of people down, a lot of people down. So um, how do we feel? We probably felt exactly how that would how that would look from, from the outside. Um, but Eddie's been great, the coaching staff have been fantastic, reminding us that, hey, like, we've got another game to go here. Um, and it'd be a big pat on the back to them because they're probably hurting as much, if not more, than the rest of us. So, um, yeah, I can't, can't applaud them enough. Yeah, I mean, look, we've all been affected by it, so we all show it differently. But Eddie's been outstanding. I mean, like we we can't we can't question his com commitment to this group. Like he gives he he works longer hours than everybody and puts more into this than anybody. So I'm sure he's feeling it. Um, but like I said earlier, uh, his ability to to bounce back from that, get real clarity on what has to happen next, and feed that onto the players, has been outstanding. Of course, I take him for his word. Um, and at the moment, it's speculation, like, what's going on? I mean, he's a professional coach. Um, if he's had a conversation with someone else, that's, that's his business. hasn't affected us at all. Um, like I said, in terms of, in terms of his behaviour around the group, in terms of his commitment to, to this team, we can't question that.